Take two. Cold, I'm glad to have you here because I don't know if I've ever told you this, but you are the actual inspiration for the show because Gavin would torture you on the set of Laser Team with these hypothetical uh, scenarios constantly. Oh, uh, like a million dollars, but a snail's gonna follow you? Exactly right. So uh, we made a whole geez. show based on that. My, my muscles will start to begin to atrophy, right? I mean, if well, I'm not walking or No, you just haven't wheel you to the gym. <laughs> I mean, the guy took France without even really, you know, it was <laughs> yeah, just his he, charm. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, doesn't, he doesn't always give the option. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of got to be open. So you have to put out? What? No, you don't have to put out. I mean, it depends on how the night goes. No, so it's completely optional. It's not like there's, there's no... You don't have to have sex with him, okay. no. It <laughs> doesn't matter how good dinner is, I'm not going to want to have sex with Hitler. So he starts off as a baby this big. Uh -huh. Two days later, he's this big. Then he's dead. And he dies of old age. How does he die? He just die, he's like he heart goes, attack? He's like Benjamin Buttoning, but backwards and really fast. Benjamin Button backwards <laughs> is just regular growing. <laughs> right. For the rest of that whole year, no one is ever gonna, gonna get on an elevator with you, ever. Because those elevator doors open, it's a dude in a baby <laughs> carriage and a guy behind him flexing away. Everybody's and waiting. if you were already on the elevator and you saw a dude like that pushing a guy in a baby carriage out of the elevator, you might just step off and go, you know what, I'll get the next one. There are other elevators. Yeah, I'll take the stairs. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No. Nah. Yeah, you, your gag reflex too high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There are a lot of dogs out there right now, and if you would like to get a dog, go to the local pound and check one out. You don't need to wait for a magic dog. <laughs> How do I give birth to this thing? That's the I guess the steps. butt. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. However you want to give birth to it. I mean, I guess it's, yeah, I guess your butt. <laughs> You have to actually oil him up? Maybe just the point, the places he can't reach himself. Oh, because he's so massive. Yeah, he, he works out, he, he oils his arms and stuff, but like his back and his posterior and whatnot. He can't touch his own butt? How strong is this person? He's got really big muscles, so they don't quite reach. To his butt? He can't touch his own butt? That's a problem. How's he wipe his ass? <laughs> I mean, this is work. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'd do it. No? No. Wait, did I say I would do it last time? I think you said you'd do it. I would probably do it. I don't think you said you'd do it. <laughs> If you like more Million Dollars Butt, tune in next week for the season finale and subscribe to Rooster Teeth's YouTube channel.